Hello and welcome to 1000 Verses Bible Quiz Channel. Today we have carefully chosen and organized 15 challenging questions to test how well you know the Bible. Before you start the quiz, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our next episode. Give your comment about the quiz and how you've scored in the comment section below. Are you ready? Let's get started. Question 1. Where did the Good Samaritan take the wounded man on his donkey? To a marketplace. To a synagogue. To the house of a priest. To an inn. The answer is to an inn. Luke chapter 10, verse 34. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. Question 2. What did Jesus tell his disciples to sell their cloaks for if they didn't already have one? To buy a staff. To buy a knapsack to buy a sword, to buy a map. The answer is to buy a sword. Luke chapter 22, verses 25 to 38. He said to them, But now if you have a purse, take it, and also a bag. And if you don't have a sword, sell your cloak and buy one. It is written, And he was numbered with the transgressors. And I tell you that this must be fulfilled in me. Yes, what is written about me is reaching its fulfillment. Question 3. How many men walked with the resurrected Jesus on the road to Emmaus? 2. 5. 7. 11. The answer is 2. Luke chapter 24, verses 13 to 35. Now that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. As they talked and discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself came up and walked along with them, but they were kept from recognizing him. Question 4. Pilate offered to release one prisoner. Which prisoner did the Jews request to be released? Jesus Barabbas Paul Barnabas The answer is Barabbas Matthew chapter 27 Verses 24 to 26. When Pilate saw that he was getting nowhere, but that instead an uproar was starting, he took water and washed his hands in front of the crowd. He said, It is your responsibility. Then he released Barabbas to them, but he had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified. Question 5. How many years had the woman suffered from bleeding before Jesus healed her? Four years, eight years, twelve years, sixteen years. The answer is twelve years. Mark chapter 5, verses 24 to 29. A large crowd followed and pressed around him. And a woman was there, who had been subject to bleeding for twelve years. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. Immediately, her bleeding stopped. Question 6. What event did Peter, James, and John witness in a mountain with Jesus? Resurrection Ascension 
Transfiguration Atonement The answer is Transfiguration Luke chapter 9 verses 28 to 31 He took Peter, John, and James with him and went up onto a mountain to pray. As he was praying, the appearance of his face changed, and his clothes became as bright as a flash of lightning. Two men, Moses and Elijah, appeared in glorious splendor, talking with Jesus. Question 7. What was the name of the god that Barnabas was called at Lystra? Zeus Apollo Mercury Eros The answer is Zeus, Acts chapter 14, verse 12. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they shouted in the Lycaonian language, the gods have come down to us in human form. Barnabas they called Zeus, and Paul they called Hermes, because he was the chief speaker. Question 8. Whose house did Paul go to in Caesarea? Peter Philip Timothy John The answer is Philip, Acts chapter 21, verse 8. We continued our voyage from Tyre and landed at Ptolemy, where we greeted the brothers and sisters and stayed with them for a day. Leaving the next day, we reached Caesarea and stayed at the house of Philip the Evangelist, one of the seven. Question 9. Who rolled away the tombstone? Jesus God An angel A Roman centurion The answer is An angel Matthew chapter 28 verse 2 There was a violent earthquake for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. Question 10. In the parable of the laborers in the vineyard, how much was each person paid to work? One denarius. Ten denarius. Fifty denarius. Twenty denarius. The answer is 1 denarius, Matthew, chapter 20, verses 1 to 16. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire workers for his vineyard. He agreed to pay them a denarius for the day and sent them into his vineyard. Question 11. What did John do with the little book he took from the angel? He read it. He ate it. He burnt it. He threw it. The answer is He ate it. Revelations, chapter 10, verse 10. So I went to the angel and asked him to give me the little scroll. He said to me, Take it and eat it. It will turn your stomach sour. I took the little scroll from the angel's hand and ate it. It tasted as sweet as honey in my mouth, but when I had eaten it, my stomach turned sour. Question 12. How many silver coins did the woman have in the parable of the lost coin? 5. 
fifty, twelve, ten, The answer is 10. Luke chapter 15, verses 8 to 9. Suppose a woman has 10 silver coins and loses one. Doesn't she light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it? And when she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost coin. Question 13. In the parable of the rich man and Lazarus, the poor man was carried to whose side? Isaac's Abraham's Jacob's David's The answer is Abraham's Luke chapter 16 verses 19 to 22 There was a rich man who was dressed in purple and fine linen and lived in luxury every day At his gate was laid a beggar named Lazarus covered with sores The time came when the beggar died and the angels carried him to Abraham's side The rich man also died and was buried It's question 14 What was the beast from the earth like He had a voice that spoke blasphemies, had face of a bear and dragon tail, had seven heads and ten horns, had two horns but spoke as a dragon. The answer is, had two horns but spoke as a dragon. Revelations Chapter 13, verses 11 to 12. Then I saw a second beast coming out of the earth. It had two horns like a lamb, but it spoke like a dragon. It exercised all the authority of the first beast on its behalf, and made the earth and its inhabitants worship the first beast, whose fatal wound had been healed. Question 15. What should you not throw before swine? Food, pearls, bread, coins. The answer is pearls. Matthew chapter 7, verse 6. Do not give dogs what is sacred. Do not throw your pearls to pigs. If you do, they may trample them under their feet and turn and tear you to pieces. Congratulations, you did it. You completed our Bible quiz. If you enjoyed the This Bible Quiz, give it thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to share what you've learned about God's Word with family and friends.